concerns about an accident prone intersection in the San Fernando Valley prompting action by a local school, but they say not enough attention is coming from the city. The intersection has been approved to get a turn signal. In fact, that happened three years ago. Yeah, but so far it hasn't been installed. This intersection is outside the St. John Utah School on Mason Avenue in Chatsworth. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar is live in Chatsworth to explain. Christine. Juan, this is a very busy intersection, as you can see behind me, and there have been a significant number of accidents in the past couple of years, most of them with injuries. In fact, just a month ago, across the street, you can see that picket fence there that's tilted down. A car crashed right through it, and right across the street is that school in question, St. John Youths, and they are now concerned about the safety of their student body. You can see the tire marks all right there. A sedan slammed into Julian Tan's house here in Chatsworth last year. Thankfully, no one was inside the bedroom where the car came to a stop. Probably going about 90. So Tan installed these cement safety ballards to protect his home here at Mason and Lassen. And just a few months later, another car crashed into his front yard. That saved uh, the car from going into my living room. Mary Ellen Pike was behind the wheel. I believe that if there was a left turn arrow, this whole thing would not have happened. Which is why St. John Youth's Catholic Church and School, which sits at the intersection, put in the request three years ago for left-hand turn signals to be installed. Vice Principal Eileen Vasquez says the project got approval more than a year ago, but nothing has happened. I didn't realize that it would take this long. Uh, I was told that getting the approval is the easy part, and now the funding is the hard part. The most recent data we were able to find shows that between March 2019 and August of 2020, there were 12 accidents at this intersection, causing 26 injuries. Most of those accidents were broadside collisions, likely occurring when cars are making a left without the aid of a left-hand turn signal. School staff shared with us these photos crash after crash. Clarissa Martinez's son is a student, and she too was in an accident at this intersection. She was making a left-hand turn. And so there was just a car that came super fast, and it just like everything felt like a blur to me too, because like it was just like he came out of nowhere. City officials tell us it costs about $100,000 for a left-hand turn signal. Parents of students think their children's lives are worth it. I actually had seen a car come up on our property at one point. We had a vehicle pushed up onto our sidewalk, and it's, so it's just scary because it's like, what if the kids are out there? Or what if you're walking out there? Now, LA DOT, which approved the project, tells me that they're ready to install those turn signals, but they need the funding for it. And that comes down to city leaders. I did reach out to Councilman John Lee's office. This is his district. His office says it is on a list of unfunded projects, but that the city right now has limited financial resources. I'm in Chatsworth live. Christine Lazar, back to you guys in the studio. All right, Christine, thank you for that report.